exchange. Um, hello, welcome, I hope you're all well. If you are new around here, then hi, nice to meet you. And if you are returning after what seems like a fucking eternity, thank you very, very fucking much. Uh, I have been away now for coming up on, oh, maybe just over three months and I probably haven't filmed a YouTube video probably nearly four months. If you've been here before, you obviously will probably know why I've not been on here. Um, but if not, then as I say, if you are new around here, hello, my name is Alana. I am a 30-something lady living in Scotland who likes to talk about all that kind of beauty and lifestyle, youtuber -y bullshit, but with a liberal sprinkling of sarcasm and cynicism throw cynicism? <laughs> See my practice. Cynicism thrown in on top. But I have just had a little baby boy. I had him at the very end of March uh, and I did kind of preempt pre that I wasn't gonna be on YouTube for a long time after his birth because I wanted to just get to know him. I wanted to get in our routine. I wanted to do all that stuff. Um, and he is adorable. He is the best thing since sliced bread. I am very fucking biased, but I don't care what anybody says. My little baby is beautiful. He is just fucking beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna put a little photo of something up here in the corner. His name is Jack. Um, me and his dad are thrilled to bits. He was nine pounds three. Um, I don't think there's anything else to add, really. As I said uh, a long time ago, when I was talking about leading up to having Jack, I wasn't going to make this a uh, mum and baby content kind of channel. It's not going to become that. Don't worry. Uh, he has got his. You can see side sleeper in the background there. But don't worry. He's not in it by the way. Um, don't worry. It's not going to become that. In saying that, I am going to put up one more video that's kind of pregnancy related uh, and it is basically my experience, my c-section experience and my postpartum experience as I am now 14 weeks postpartum. Uh, and the reason that I'm bringing that into it, not the kind of recovery and all that from c-section, is because I ended up in fucking hospital. I actually was at the hospital today for another appointment. I ended up in hospital uh, over the last kind of month and that put paid. I was really hoping once Jack kind of hit 12 weeks, I'd be like, right, get back on the YouTube train. Um, because we were doing so well. And then we were supposed to be going on a holiday to Greece. That didn't happen because I ended up in critical care unit. So, so that has all happened. That will be in that video. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you probably already know what has happened. Um, it turns out it's my thyroid. My thyroid was overactive, but I am okay now. So it's just been a little bit longer than expected to get back to this. So I'm gonna be a little rusty. I'm really sorry. And I am gonna show you either what I've been loving over the last three months. Um, and I'm not gonna go into the whole ins and outs of it because I am gonna do an empty of all the things I've fucking used over the last three or four months. So that will go into much more great detail. You know how I love an empties. Um, but I'm just gonna show you like my makeup bag at the moment, what's in it, because I feel like now that I've had Jack, I don't swap things out as much as I maybe used to. I don't change up the look as much as I used to because it's very much just, I need to put a face on and I'm out the door. So I'll show you what's in my makeup bag at the moment because it is most definitely what I've been reaching for all the time over the last, like, at least last, like, six weeks, I would say, for definite. A five minute intro as usual, if you know me, I love to babble. Uh, get yourself a coffee. I've got a Starbucks today. Not my first choice in coffee, but it was what I was driving past, so I stopped. So, grab yourself a tea, a cup of it, a coffee, whatever the fuck you like, grab yourself a wine, feeling fine, and let's just get into this. This is me from the future, 10 minutes in the future, because I just realised I didn't actually say what's going to happen on the channel here going forth. So, here's the long short of it. I have a baby. I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to aim to get one YouTube video up a week, because the agreement I've made with my darling in-laws and Jack's grandparents is they would love to see him more often. They adore him, they would take him five days a week if I let them, honestly. Um, but also it's nice for me to remember this part of who I am and me and not forget that I've just become a mum and that's all I am now and have this outlet and it really helps me. I am a better woman, I am a better partner, I'm a better mother if I am able to do the things that I enjoy. Now I know there might be some people out there who have the opinion of I am palming my son off for a couple of hours in the afternoon once a week to do YouTube, how fucking frivolous of you. But this for me is like my version of someone who needs to go to the gym for their mental health, um, needs to kind of go and get a massage once a month for their mental health or needs to just go out and have a walk every day to clear their head. This is that for me. So, 
I wasn't getting to do it and I was trying to do little bits on Instagram and I ended up saying to Alan like I really miss it like I really do and he wants to get back to the gym and things like that so he's been able to do that a couple of nights a week he comes in a little bit later goes to the gym from work and he's like you need to still make time for you you are still Alana you still need to remember that and that's a big part of you as you do in your YouTube so one day a week, not be set days every week, Jack may or may not go to his grandparents and if I don't have any other plans on that day, like maybe actually I want to go meet a friend for lunch that day so I doesn't do YouTube, I will try and get a little YouTube video filmed and I'm going to try and get it up as and when I can edit it as best I can but that's kind of where we're going forward from here at the moment. Uh, obviously eventually I will be back at work as well so there will be a lot of plates to spin and the other thing I want to take into consideration is as well I am on maternity pay, I am on mat leave, I can't afford to just be hauling, dropping lots of money on frivolous things just to try them anymore, I just can't. So I would like in the kind of subscription, in the subscription box? No, 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 Anna. In the comment box down below, just let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what's your kind of thing, what do you want to know? Um, if you do like product kind of reviews, I probably will still do them if it's something I'm particularly interested in. But for instance, I am not going to be going and spending an inordinate amount of money on a Vive brush just to try it in the future. I did do that, it was my last kind of splurge and that's it. But it's going to have to be reined in a little bit and I'm aware of that. So just let me know what you would kind of like to see on here. Let me know. Uh, it might even just be more sun and shade you should have passed talking about stuff. Or kind of, I don't know, how do I do this? How do I do that? Let me know what you want to see. That's fine. We also have a holiday coming up and you know I always love to do travel vlogs. We are going back to Rhodes and this time obviously we're going with Jack. Uh, that will be later on in the summer. So I'm hoping to get that up as well. So I will still be doing a little vlogging. I will still be doing little bits and bobs and probably get one video up a week just to blather with you to be honest but um yeah that's where it's going to go from here and I'm going to like get back into the video now because I forgot to say that. Okay first off can I just say how lovely it is. I love filming in the summertime because it's like pretty much natural light and I love it, I love it. See you in the winter. I think the mood of my room because I put a little light on, hmm, the video looks cool but I love filming in the natural light. It's so much nicer to just be like oh right actually things look the colour they're supposed to be. Um, so as I said it's pretty much been the face that I'm wearing today. What I've got on today is kind of just what I've been going to and what I'm going to do in this video is in the corner here I'm going to shrink it down. I am going to show you me real time putting on this face because it is literally a 10 minute face. I think the whole video by the time I like set up the camera and put it on took me 13 minutes and that's with me stopping to be like mm, I'm using this putting it on my face. So if I'm doing this on a real day to day basis I can do this in I would say 8 minutes flat if I'm honest with you. This is my face, this is my go-to and it's just easy to look a little presentable and out the door. And for that reason, what has been in my makeup bag has rarely changed. But I keep adding to it and not taking stuff out so I really need to kind of refresh. But I'm just going to show you things that I've been loving at the moment, what's my face today, one brand in particular that I'm really enjoying and are a new brand to me. Uh, they actually reached out to me was it maybe like a month after having Jack? Uh, they're called Gen C and they sent me some products which was very very kind of them but I've also purchased my own products off them since and they are they're great I really like them they have been what has been in that glossy bag consistently for at least the last month and I just keep going back to them so I'm going to tell you about them but just to let you know they did send me some of the things and I will go through them one at a time when I pull them out um, and I've got a couple of new bits that I picked up I'll tell you about them as well a couple of things from Vive and a couple of skincare bits not necessarily new but what I've been using at the moment so let's dig into the makeup bag first of all I'm not going to do it in any fucking order because like I say life is a bit of a shambles at the moment and this is just the way my bag is used to be all like all oh, right okay get skin here blah, blah, blah. now I'm just like fling it in the bag let's get out the door put the makeup on in the car um not while I'm driving by the way uh, but first of all what I'm going to pull out is a base and I think did I pick this up before Jack was born no I think I picked this up after Jack was born but because I had a section I wasn't able to drive anywhere for a while so it was like walking to the local super drug and I was like oh actually getting out the house to look at beauty things is just so rare uh, especially after the recovery time and things like that and um, again I've not mentioned it in this video but Jack spent some time in the neonatal ICU as well a lot longer than we expected it wasn't ages but it was longer than I expected so you know the first like blur of having a newborn but 
Mine's also had that intact with it as well. And so by the time I got home and I felt like going for walks with Jack, when I got to a super drug, I was like, oh, this is like, I'm in Harrods or something. <laughs> like, it just was very exciting. And I picked up this. This is the Super Dewy Skin Tint Tinted Moisturiser from Revolution. Now, I know, I know, I've always been a bit like, I don't really like the evolution, um, a little bit of a cakey base and stuff like that. If the light's going in and out, by the way, it's natural light, what can I say? Um, I do have my light over here to kind of balance it out, but if the sun disappears, it happens. As I say, if you're new, I ramble, I like to go off in tangents, I'm really sorry. And I'm kind of excited that I'm making this video. I'm really excited about doing it because I've not fucking done it for so long. So, Super Dewy, blah, 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 Revolution. I never, ever liked a Revolution base. Even to the point I was like, why am I buying this? I'm not gonna like it. It's actually really bloody good though. Really, really good. It's a tinted moisturizer and I picked up in light beige. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand there. I don't know if you'll see it. It's just a tiny wee splodge. Can you see it? There. And I have to say, it's actually pleasantly surprising. I actually thought, hmm, this is impressive. Now I haven't tried the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, but I've seen this and I know they like to dupe brands and I thought I wonder if that's what they were trying to dupe I don't know maybe it's just any old like you know Nars head moisturizer or something they're trying to dupe that or Laura Mercy might be but I just thought it looked like it came about the same time as well as Charlotte Tilbury and I wondered hmm I wonder if that's what it is so yeah I do like this I think it's actually really good uh, as I say I'm not going to go into too much detail and I've just took her along to tell you about that um blushers let's talk about blushers so I'm going to try and bring them out in some kind of semblance of an order okay I have got one two three four five cream blushers in here because you know easy face uh this one here from xx revolution I actually picked up around about the same time as the super duty as I say I was walking to the local super drug because I was like, I need out the house. Uh, and this is there, is it Cloud? Is it something? Cloud Blush? Oh, I don't remember what the name of the product is, but this colour, it's called Wave. And it is a beautiful, bright, tangerine almost, like orangey. It looks a little peach, but actually it's got a real pop to it. It's not juicy, it's not that juicy orange way, but it's also not flat and creamy. It's not like a creamy blush. It's gorgeous, it's so, so nice. And if these are called cloud blushes, if that's what they are again, I can't remember. So I can, and the link will be below, I'll put it below, you know me. Um, they are very, very nice and they do come in other colors. So I've been using that. I've went for a lot of kind of oranges as we've crept into summer. So that's why these are creeping in. Uh, my two kind of, well, let's see, this one and this one again, this is the Rose Ink Blush in Anemone. This again is like a lovely orangey, corally, peachy pink, not peach, probably more pink. Uh, and I love it, it's gorgeous, I've been using it. I took, took this to hospital when I was having Jack, and yes, I did wear it, yes I did. I know there's a lot of people who be like, what's in my hospital bag? I never used any of the makeup. Damn, see the next day when I got up from my C-section, stood up, had a shower, got my hair done, put my mascara on, put on a little bit of blush, and went to see my son in the night ICU. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna look good to go and see him, I don't care. And if people think that's fine, that's fine. But it made me feel better about a really, really shit situation I was in. So I did it. I did, I wore that when I was going to see him. This here is from Gen C and this is their cream sheen, clean sheen, cheek and lip color, clean sheen. Um, and this is in the color apricot. It's what I've got on today. It is stunningly beautiful. It's very, very nice. Um, so this is, as I say, the company that has sent me a few freebies. This was not one of them. I bought this with my own money. And it's a little bit like the Glossier Cloud paints. They've got this like kind of squeezy tube, except the, the lid is a little different. And I have to say, this is really, really nice. As I said, it's what I've got on today. I will just put a tiny little swatch on my hand there. Can you see it, this bit here? That's it there. It's lovely. It's, um, again, orangey, but not like this one, I could say, is a little bit more muted. But because it's kind of a liquid blush, I feel you can get away with it. You can, it's not one of these ones, a bit like, you know, the rare ones you put it on and it's like, Poof, so much colour in one tiny bit. You can kind of work with this a little bit better, which if you're a little scared of blush, might work for you a little easier. Really, really like this. I think this is a lovely product from Gen Z. And then I do have a cloud paint from Glossier. This is Dusk. This is not one I reach for very often. But what I find is Dusk for me is a really good option for a bronzer for me. It's definitely not apricot like the last blusher. It's not that kind of colour. It's much more of a tan. Can you see it there? So people might say it's a kind of a nude blush. That's it there. But for me, it works quite well as a little bit of a top of the cheeks bronzer situation as well. If I want a really, really subtle hint of a bronzer, 
then this works really, really well. So that has been in my bag. And finally, my Spectrum Pinch Pot in Joyful. I've been going on about these since I bought them, was it last year? I don't even know now. I don't remember when I picked these up. Probably maybe autumn last year. I think they're amazing. Uh, I think I ordered them around about the same time as the Katie Jane Hughes brushes. They're fucking great. They're really good. I love them. This colour in particular is my favourite. I do have two others, but this one it is the piece de resistance. And as we have came into summer, this colour makes me look like I've actually just caught the sun. That's it there. Doesn't I know I'm the worst at swatching. I'm a terrible swatcher. There we go. That's a little bit better. So it does have that kind of rosy, ready russet colour, but it's also not like a pink. It's, it just makes me look like I've caught the sun. Like as if I've got a little bit sunburned. Don't do that, wear your SPF. But it's really, really nice and it's what has been constantly going on my cheeks as well. Now what I'm doing here is pulling all the brushes that is out that makeup bag because I don't need to talk to you about all of these. There is a mixture of my favourite Lara Faye ones here. There's some of the KGH, KJ and Hughes and Spectrum ones. But I don't need to go into great detail about them. I've told you about them a million times, you don't need to hear it again. But what I am going to tell you about is this one and this one. So let me put these down. So this one here is a Vive brush. I know. I think my last video that i done was a kind of hot or not, like, like a stunning shite or should I pass type video. And the Vive brushes were some of the ones that I spoke about and was very vocal about the fact that I thought these are ridiculously expensive. Now someone did comment on that video like a little while after it was up and I think, I don't know, Jack was maybe like four weeks old, five weeks old at that point and I thought I'm not getting into an argument with somebody when I've got a newborn baby, I can't be asked to be honest with you. Why do it anyway? Baby or not, why do it? But I do, you know, people stoke the fire and I do like to argue back. But I was just like, I'm not arguing. And she basically was like, uh, you can't comment on the rushes unless you've tried them. Like, why can you say? And I was like, well, I can because it's my channel. I can say what the fuck I like. And I do think these are overpriced. And now that I have bought some of the brushes, they are fucking overpriced. They absolutely are. Are they nice brushes? Yes, they're lovely brushes. They're very, very nice brushes. Are they good quality brushes? Yes, they're lovely brushes. They're very, very nice. Do these brushes do something wonderfully spectacular that my other brushes that are maybe half the price don't? No, no they don't. They don't at all. And I love Vive. I love their products. I see they're bringing out an eyeliner soon. I love Vive products, the majority of them. There's the odd one or two that I don't like. I like these brushes. I'm not saying I don't like them. Are they overpriced though? Yes, massively so. Ah, just whacked my hand off the table there. Uh, yes, massively so overpriced. Uh, I bought two because my nose was just bothering me so much. I wanted to know, what are these doing that my Lara Faye ones don't? What are these doing that the Spectrum ones don't? I know they're from Smith as well, like their collaboration, the Vive and I know it doesn't say collaboration on it, but that's kind of the brushes she loves. And they are very high end makeup artistry brushes. If you want to go and spend your money on that, by all means do it. You're not going to waste your money. They are good brushes. But do I need to spend this amount on brushes when I have ones that can do the same thing? No, absolutely not. So I stand by what I said. They're overpriced. They are overpriced. Uh, if you've tried them, let me know what you think. They're nice. They're very nice. But do they need to be the price they are? No, could you bring them down a little bit? Possibly, I think, especially for her age range and her um, audience and market. But anyway, if you've not seen the video and I'm moaning about them, I'm gonna put it up here. Uh, this one here, I have literally not been using many eyeshadows. I'll show you what I have been using, but I've not been doing eyeshadow. I don't have time, I'm really sorry. It makes me feel like I'm a total traitor to myself. But it's been more like this, just a very quick whoosh of colour on the eye. And so I've just been dipping this in my bronzer. Look at the state of my uh, physician's formula. Look at that pan size now. It's just on the outside. I actually have already bought a new one. But I've just been putting that in and then going into the crease with this brush or using this brush alongside, hold on while I show you, uh, these here. So these are from Gen C and these were sent to me for consideration to see if I wanted to try them. These are their, what are they called, liquid or metallic? Mixed media metallic liquid eyeshadows. And they have First Light, which is kind of like a rosy gold color, which is what I've got on today, but I don't feel it's rosy gold and it looks pink. It's kind of one that I can just put on every day and have a little bit of shimmer or something in the lid. And as I say, pop some bronzer in the socket and I'm off good to go. 
Then this one here, which is Desert Highway, which is a real proper, it's a real true gold colour. I've also used this alongside more yellow shades and stuff when there would be a nice day in the sun. I've been wearing a yellow dress or something, I put this on in the gold. And this one here is Bronze Age, which is a beautiful copper colour. And basically, they're just liquid kind of metal eyeshadows. I'm just going to swatch that one there for you. They go on stunning, beautiful, amazing. But what I tend to do is I'll switch it on there like I have onto the eye and then just blend it through the socket. So that's what I've done today with this one here, which is First Light. And as I say, it's kind of the rosy gold one, but I don't feel it's an obvious like pinky gold colour, don't worry. Uh, but I've really been enjoying them. They were sent to me, as I say, I got these um, essentially for free. I got these for free. But I think they're well worth a look. Do you need all three? Possibly not. For instance, I've got sh like kind of liquid shadows and stuff of the gold. Like I didn't probably need the gold one. Uh, I'll probably pass this on to someone. But I love the copper colour. It's gorgeous. Again, I have kind of liquid copper things. I could probably slot in play a little. Probably slot in place. But I really like them. I really think they're gorgeous. And if you are going to buy them, you don't need all three. But if you like any one of the certain colours, I think they're very, very good. Very, very good indeed. And that's pretty much all I've been doing for eyeshadow. As for like, you know mascaras stuff like that lips blah 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 uh, another couple of things here i'm going to tell you about let's talk brows actually first so today what i've got in my brows um this is the revolution laminate brow uh, it has on one side one of these pencil things that you think on i don't use that i don't use that side at all ever i've tried it it's not for me this side here which is now looking absolutely bogging because i put the brush in and out it that many times this is brilliant this is just like a little spoolie and some gel essentially that kind of situation and i push it through my brows stick them up into a really nice situation and usually that's me i'm good to go but if i'm feeling a little bit extra then i've been using this from gen c now again i really need to get my eyes tested this is there is it powder a powder brow or something Again, it will be linked below. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. I know. But I wonder why people don't want to like send me things and get me to speak about products because I'm terrible. Uh, but this is amazing. This is so, so good. Now, what I will say is the first time I tried this, uh, I bought medium brown. And the first time I've got dark hair, as you can see, very dark hair, very dark brows. And the first time I tried this, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is too much. I kind of was like, this is making me look like I have big blocky brows. But what I found was that if you just kind of go like this, and you might even see me doing it in the video that pops in the corner there, probably too small to see it now. Um, if you do this here and just scrape some off, and then start to put it through the brow. So today I done the revolution, so I had the shape, and then just through the front here, put a little bit of this colour. And it is very impactful. Very impactful if you're looking for a really nice, big, fluffy, and essentially dark brow. And that's the thing, like, I feel like this on someone who had a darker skin tone than me probably wouldn't look any different. But because I'm pale with dark brows, if you put this on full buna, then it's, like, insane. It's absolutely insane. But if you put it on and you were black, if you had, like, a really dark skin tone, then it probably wouldn't look so crazy. It is very, very dark, and that's the medium brown. I think the lightest colour they do is taupe, and I don't know how that would look on someone who had maybe red or blonde hair. It'd be interesting to find that out. But I really like it. I love the fact that it's, um, it's like a gel, but it's also a powder. It's, it's really interesting texture, it's really, really nice. Again, this was one I bought by myself, but because I had received a few other things from them, I thought, that's interesting, I wanna try that out. So I purchased this one myself, but I really, really fucking like it. I think it's very, very nice. Mascara, again, Gen C. I feel like this is gonna feel like a fucking advert for Gen C, I don't mean it that way, it's just because I'm thinking what I've got on my face today. And mascara is this here from Gen C, and I can't, again, remember what the mascara is called. Spectator Sport Mascara, that's what it's called. Just came to me there. Uh, and it's just in black. This is lovely. This is so, so nice. This, trying to think what it reminds me of, it just has a normal kind of fibre brush and I've found like more recent years I've preferred a plastic brush. This is just a classic mascara wand but the formula of this mascara is very very nice. It's quite thickening, it volumises the lashes. It still gives them good length but I do feel like it does just that little bit, little tiny bit of spider eyelash which I fucking hate. I hate clumpy mascaras, it's not my thing. But this has just enough of that, just a little bit of that level, that it's really, really nice. Really, really good, I'm really, really impressed with it. 
They actually did end up sending this to me to try, so I actually have two of these because I purchased it and then they sent me it for free as well. So I have this, I think I'm going to like keep it for a little giveaway over on Instagram, but it's a very, very nice mascara. Well impressed. Don't necessarily think it's the most natural, you know, like the glossy lash licks, very natural looking. It's definitely a bit more impactful, but it's very, very nice. And this as well, may as well tell you about this because they sent this to me as well, is the Crystal Clear Clean Sheen Gloss and it's what I've got today. It's just a nice clear gloss. I have it topped over one of their matte lipsticks, but I think the reason they sent, right, so let me just give you a bit of backstory here. They sent me two of their lipsticks. One was Irene, which is a really nice red color, which I'll show you in two seconds. And the other one is Margaret. So Margaret is like a real true nude color, but for me, it has a little bit more pink in it, which works much better on my skin tone because you'll see here. See how it's like, it's a pinky nude. I know on my arm that looks really dark now because I'm very pale. But on my lips, it, it doesn't look particularly dark, does it? Same same lipstick on my lips. And I made mention on an Instagram post when I tried this that my mum's name was Margaret and the lipstick's called Margaret. It was very nice. And they actually reached out to me and was like, let us send your mum one. Let us send your mum one. And then if you want to see now, if you go over to my Instagram, there's a little post of my mum wearing the lipstick. And she had topped it with a gloss because she's much more of a gloss lady than a matte lip. And these are matte lipsticks. So they then sent this along to me with the mascara and said, there's a gloss for your mum. I have tried it, I have used it, and I'm like, I just wanted to give it a go. Um, but I am going to pass this on to my mum now that I've topped it. I just wanted to see what it would look like with the lipsticks. But it's very, very nice. It's just a clear lip gloss. It's easy easy. Am I saying you need to rush and buy this? It's a clear lip gloss. No. But it's nice if you like gloss. It's not too sticky either, I have to say that. Uh, but again, as I said, lipsticks. The other one they sent me was called Irene, and it is absolutely stunning it's absolutely my cup of tea it is the most beautiful true blue undertoned red let me just put it on and show you actually so as i say this is a matte red lip but it has been my go-to for the last maybe month i just adore it i think it's so nice and that is it there. it's it's gorgeous it's beautiful it is so so nice i have to say i think that these are a mixture of Glossier Generation G because they're drier. They're a little dry on the lips because they're matte But they go on quite easily, but also the Vive red one Muse. That's very creamy. That's very very creamy It's kind of in the middle of the two of them and I think that's why I fucking love it I love the Vive uh, modern matte lipstick and Muse the red one the color is spot on this color is spot on for me as well The Glossier texture though is just a little bit more easy and everyday wearable than the Vive one. So this now is kept right in the fucking middle and it's gorgeous. It's my absolute favorite. I will sometimes, oh, I will sometimes line this with the Vive, um, where is it? Pencil liner in Rumour. Because I remember the day when I went to the Vive pop-up, Jamie Genevieve said she used Rumour with Muse, which was the red one. I tend to just accentuate the cupid's bow on just under here. And that's all I do. I don't go all the way around my lips, but, Beautiful, beautiful lipstick. Absolutely loving it. Loving most of the, the range from Gen Z so far. I think the only one I would say I'm a bit like, eh, is the lip gloss, because it's just a clear lip gloss. But everything else, I am really, really impressed with. We'll continue into the makeup bag now. Okay, highlighters, what I've been going for. Danessa, Dew Wet Bam and Clear on the tops of cheeks all day long. And the Burt's Bees All Glow Stick. I have had many of these over the years. And this one, as you can see, is very soon to be no longer either and i don't even think they sell them anymore which is a shame i think if i looked on amazon i could maybe get it but brilliant absolutely brilliant and have been my go-to for highlight because i feel that is enough base as i say i have been using the revolution one sometimes but the majority of the time it's been glossy stretch concealer again because when i was pregnant i felt a little bit more greasy a little bit more oily i was like mm, you know this is maybe a little too much at the moment and i went back to a kind of doe foot classic style of concealer now that i'm back to myself i'm like oh god i need this i need this so much again i don't know if it's the time of year summer and all that kind of stuff but you would think you would be oilier in the summer and i am still really enjoying this whereas the doe foot ones now that i'm a bit back to being a bit crispy and dry I'm now starting to be like, oh, they were good, but now I'm not so sure because my skin is dry. They're clinging on to little bits that I don't really like. But Glossier, you're up there and you haven't been for years. I don't think I'll ever change my mind. And that is pretty much all that's in my makeup bag. I know that's a lot of stuff, but um, this NARS, uh, what's it called? Uh, Explorer, what's it? Blah, blah, blah. 
These are called something, Voyager, that's what it is. And this one is the Copper Voyager palette. I haven't been using eyeshadow. That is in there just because one day we were going somewhere and I was doing my makeup in the car on the way. So Alan was driving and I had a bit of time to do it while I was looking in the mirror. But yeah, I haven't really been doing eyeshadow or anything like that. Um, what I am gonna quickly mention is this from Vive as well because I actually pulled these out of my handbag because I kept throwing lipsticks into my handbag because I would change my lipstick every now and again. And then I found these all at the bottom. And this is the Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil. And this is in Pesca because they brought out new colors of these. I'd never tried these before. Um, what I'm gonna say, long and short of it is, it's a very nice lip gloss, lip oil type situation. It smells delightful, it's so sickly sweet. But the color, for it being Pesca and being this kind of color, I don't feel the color really shows up that well. Not on my lips anyway, I just don't feel there's much point to the color, sorry. Uh, and also this doe foot, the big massive doe foot, I feel like this is maybe like a gimmick, like a selling point and things like that. But personally, I would prefer a smaller one because I don't have massive lips. I don't have big, full, plump lips. So for me, this is like, oh, trying to turn it on a skinny little lips. It can be a little irritating, but that is just a personal gripe. It's nice. Will I buy any more? No, probably not. And as I said, I had a few new bits. I repurchased Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because as you could see, the other one was absolutely running out. And I picked these up from a company, not that one, that's a glossy. Uh, I picked these up, they're from a company called Natalie Grace Cosmetics. They are a Scottish company actually, and the lipsticks are hand poured here in Scotland. Um, I bought two glosses, this one is in Adore, and this one is in Lover. So this one is like a pink with a gold shift to it, and it's beautiful, it's very, very nice. And this one here is more like a nude. Uh, this actually would be perfect to go over the top of that Margaret color as well, because it's like my version of a nude. It's not too pale. It's got a little bit of kind of warmth to it and it's got a slight sparkly sheen to it, but very, very minimal. And it's really, really good color payoff. It's very, very nice. I'm really impressed with the glosses, I have to say. The lipstick is the reason why I picked up um, something from Natalie Grace though. This was the thing that sold me. I'd seen my friend Michelle talking about them on her Instagram and I was like, right, I need to try this company. They're from Scotland, it's handmade, blah, blah, blah. And I picked up the color Sunset, which is this kind of peachy orange color. And it's a beautiful lipstick. It's very, very nice. I have the same problem with this one as I did with the Vive one. This makes me look dead. I, it's not even that this one makes me look dead. It, mm, it just pulls a little yellow and I'm very pale and kind of pinky. It doesn't suit my skin tone and actually I've reached out to Natalie because I'd like to give her feedback because on the back of my hand there, it's a beautiful kind of peachy, orangey shade. And when I look at it, I'm like, that's so nice, that's so gorgeous. On my lips though, this does not suit me. It really doesn't. I will try and slot in a photo here of me wearing it, but it just doesn't work for me. Uh, and as I said, I want to give her some feedback because the lipstick itself is gorgeous, but unfortunately the color just doesn't suit me. She also does a red and I thought, well, I can maybe get the red, but do I need any more red lipsticks? Like a fucking hole in the head, so I'm not going to. Me, myself, what I've been using for skincare and all that kind of stuff hasn't changed a heck of a lot, but I did go back to using Isn't Tree. I bought a full size of their Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. I bought another one of their Moist Cream because it is amazing. I just put it elbows, knees, hips, eyes, everywhere. Like I put it, not in your eyes. I put it everywhere. I think it's so, so good. And I am still using their Hyaluronic Acid Moist Cream, the SPF version as well. Uh, watery Sun Gel, sorry. Uh, not moist cream, that's the moist cream. Hyaluronic acid watery sun gel. It is so, so good, it's my favorite. So really, I've became a bit of a isn't she like addict and I love it. And I think that is absolutely everything. I am so glad to be back. I hope you can tell in this video because I was very, very excited to actually sit down and film a YouTube video. It feels like my little outlet of just being able to ramble for a while and at the moment as well, especially being on mat leave, like I really don't have people to ramble at, at the moment. So I'm in the house a lot of the time, not speaking to anybody and you're just like, Bruh. don't get, don't worry. We are getting to like baby clubs and doing all that kind of bullshit. But yeah, it's just nice to sit here and be able to have a good old ramble about shit that I love. And I've just been like, oh, I can't wait to tell people. Like, I'm just so glad to be back, to be honest with you. But as I said, I will have an empties video coming up because I can assure you, I have got a hell of a lot of empties to tell you about. 
but also I will have a little video going up about my experience of having my little boy and uh, postpartum as well. So with all that being said, I think that is where I'm going to leave it today. It's been a very, very long one, but please excuse me because it's been a long time since I've been here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, do all that kind of bullshit if you want youtube -y stuff. Do whatever the fuck you like and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye. <laughs>